Alright, where do I... Does it matter where I put my bed? Oh, just put it down. That sets your spawn point. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Seven Days to Die. We picked up this this naked homeless guy who's wearing some Hanes. Hi. Jordan, is it worth it to buy, um, 80 bullet tips? Mm, okay. Not really. Okay, same man. Make ammo, right? Get it, get it. Yeah. Did you put it down? It just needs lead. There's lead I, everywhere. How do I no. put it down? I can only it's either it left or right click. One of those two. There you go. Oh, they... Well, that's cute. You're right next to that person. What are you doing? Okay. Is, is it worth it? Buy a, a level one AK for 400. For right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just you don't to need get to sleep on it. Here. Okay. Say, man. In this in this chest right here in the corner, there's some water. Grab a grab like ten jars of water. Just yeah, grab a stack. level three hunting rifle. And then in this one, there should be some food. So just grab some food. I as, would um, recommend the uh, either the meat or the cornbread as food to grab, just because they're cheap to make and there's lots of them. And then okay. same man, you gotta put on those clothes I gave you. Like cornmeal. Oh, did I not put it on? No, you gotta. So press B. George, and it George, should pull up your, your guy menu to put clothes on. What was that, Zay? What should I buy? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Um, like, there's 70 gunpowder here for 20. Nice, look how sexy I look, bro. You want the hat back? Uh, just, you can go ahead and put it in this chest on Is the that far worth left. It? No, gunpowder's not really worth buying, in all honesty. Uh... We can make tons of gunpowder pretty easily. It's just we need we need bullet casings. We need to start making those. Yeah. It, that's the problem. It depends on what you want to make. So if we want to make bullet casings, we gotta okay. start. Say, man, come here. I'm gonna give you some guns. Brass and melting down brass and making casings with it. Um, but if you want to make guns, we need to start making the forged iron and forged steel. Okay, where you at, say, man? Okay, here's a gun. Okay, it's also say, man. You see on the very bottom of your HUD, there's a blue line and a green line. Yeah, is that my health? The blue one is your, uh, no, it's your water, and the green one is your food. You gotta make sure you stay up on oh, that. Okay. okay, here's a shotgun, okay. same man. George, is there anything I should consider buying here? There's a shotgun. Uh, maybe rifle ammo, if we have AKs. And here's some here's maybe. some ammo for it. I mean, we can make bullets, but it, 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 we don't have a lot of time, is the biggest part of it. Okay, I'm also gonna give you a hunting rifle, same man. So you can be the, you can be the range guy, but you also got a shotgun for close. So here's a hunting rifle. There's some ammo. Let me grab you some more bullets. Yeah, there's some more bullets right there on the ground. Some shotgun parts, bro. Come on. Okay. I got a piece of bread. Bread. Okay. What do I do with this box? Uh, throw it away. Don't place it down. It. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's yeah, don't place it, just drop it. Block. Yeah, it, what it does is it prevents other players from building in a space around it. Um, okay, I just dropped it. So it's not worth it, because if you have teammates, it makes it so your teammates can't do anything, you know? Oh, nice. Sky, do you have any more cobble, or did, did you give it all to me? Uh, I don't. I can give you some stone and some... Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm making some. I'm trying to create a funnel here in the garage. Okay. Oh, yo, that's still probably a good spot. What if we had two people right here, just just so laser what I'm them? Thinking, what I'm thinking is we'll block this up. We won't put a door here. We'll just block it up. So when they come funneling in here, we just hammer them from the sides. So do you guys just sit here and just kill them off when they try to come get you? Basically. Name of the game, honestly. Here's, Here's a zombie right here. Kill him. Oh my god, I'm reloading with the heck. <laughs> End him with that. Okay, you have to reload your weapon to begin with. <laughs> okay, oh, the wait, funnel no, is I... nearly done. We need spikes. Uh... There you go. You okay. should be dead. I'll work on spikes. What do I need for spikes again? Just wood? Just wood. Dang, what you can do, if you want, is it costs, it costs one uh, iron, one forged iron, to upgrade a wood spike to an iron spike. I think it's worth it, isn't it? Yeah, it costs four forged iron to craft one metal to begin with. So it's cheaper if you just make one out of wood and then add one forged iron to it. 
doesn't cost as much metal. So if you want to grab some, like, make a bunch of forged iron, and then grab some, and we can upgrade some spikes um, before the horde starts. The key part, though, is we need to, one, make sure they can't get through that back door. Um, and two, we need to keep them divided when we're defending the wall, because if they, if they focus up on one part of the wall too much, they'll break through. But if they're if they're split up because they're they're all divided between the four of us, <laughs> the zombies won't be able to get through the wall as easily. You killed that dead body there, son. <laughs> I wanna go whack a zombie. So I think ideally what we wanna do is we each should cover a side of the wall. And uh, we just kill any zombies that show up on that side. Because if we're if we're standing too close to each other, they'll find a weak point and they'll just start hammering at that weak point. That's why they got in last time. Is because we were all standing too close together and we didn't really have a wall to uh, protect us. Jordy, you getting a bunch of wood right now? Yeah. Okay. Man, I thought we had a lot of wood. We're like basically out. We had like no, over two thousand. We are almost out. Yeah. I think I had some wood. I have fifty seven. Uh, I've got 2,400. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can carry, like, 6,000 of any of the basic, Here, uh... Say, man, make it... Here, I'm gonna show you how to craft stuff. Let me go give you a little crash course, okay? Yeah, you're gonna need to give him... Give him some hints uh, on that. Okay. You can me. Can't make shotgun parts. Okay, it looks like you made a club. Um... Yes. Here, this guy, right. give him a baseball bat. Do we have any? Yeah, there's a baseball bat in the chest. Okay. There's also a chain mod in there. Put the chain mod on it and give it to him. That'll make it look slightly better. Okay. Does anybody want a battle axe? It's only a level one, but it does fire damage. So is the baseball bat in that one you're looking in? Yeah. It's Can you drop it? Oh, never mind. It's in there. Okay, there's already a mod on this baseball bat. Oh, there is? Yeah, it's a spike. Okay, then it's probably fine. Okay, come here, say, man. Here's a, here's a freaking... This is a bad bat right here. It's right here on the ground. You're walking on it. Did you get it? Okay. Yeah, I got it. There Let you me go. Just... Okay, so... Okay, you need an axe, eh, man? You gotta make an axe. So, here, I'm gonna show you how to make an axe. You're gonna need a little bit of wood, and you're gonna need some rocks. Do we have an extra fire axe laying around we could give him? I don't know if we do or not. Oh, I don't think so. I'm just gonna show him how to make a stone one. Okay, okay right. Good. Come pick up these rocks right here, say, eh, man? There, there you go. Okay, now, now pre press tab, and then on the far left where the hammer is, you should see a, a, a stone axe. Okay, stone axe. Yeah, craft one of those, and that's going to be your best friend. Whenever it breaks, you just have to hover over it and click A, and it'll repair. But that thing, will that's how you'll break down stuff. You can break rocks with it really slow, but you can chop down wood and break houses and stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to either barricade in that back door or take it out entirely and replace it with a wall. Okay, do you want to wait till we all get back? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that back door is going to be the last thing I, I shear up in. Don't, don't try to come through the garage because it's going to be blocked. How close is that drop? Maybe if I make some more um, forged steel. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm going to pick a bunch then. Can you make any other, uh, um, any other types of weapons, Zay? Oh, jeez. Um, any yeah, other melee weapons, or is it just, uh... Oh, yeah, I can make melee. Oh, it's a meteor! Let's see. How much forged iron do we have in there, Zay? Uh, Where's the meteor? Much. We need to make more. Oh, there. oh, no, that's a supply drop. So, oh. every day an airplane brings a supply drop. Why does he just come and save us? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Dang. Uh, Jordan, only melee weapons. I can make a machete. Is it too level far to one? get? Yeah, level one. Um, don't you can look on the map. It might be really, really far. It, no, it's not worth it. If we can't make it better than that, it's not worth it. So don't worry yeah. about it. So I just figured I'd check. So same man, if you click tab, and it'll bring up all the things that you can craft. Level three right away. And it'll tell you what you need to craft those items. So, 
Yes, so you can do bow, you can make arrows, but you'll need feathers. I mean, we're kind of beyond bows right now. I mean, I still okay. have one, but... I still have one. They're good for... Okay, this is the key. When you go looting, don't waste bullets. There's not enough. Like, these guys waste bullets like nobody's business. <laughs> when you're looting, you don't need to. Use arrows. Use melee weapons. Only use bullets for the horde knight, because we, we just can't afford to not have... Yeah, there's you know. so many zombies. Okay, uh, and then when you chop up trees, say, man, you'll get seeds from them. You can just right-click to throw them down. Oh, sweet. Hold up, I got up. I only got two out of the whole thing. <laughs> Dang it, we're out of concrete. <laughs> what, do, what, do, what else do we need for concrete? Okay, we have more in the mixer coming. Uh... We've got all the materials we need. It just it's taking time to make. It's we're gonna have concrete being produced for the next eighteen minutes. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's fast enough. Uh, probably not. No, we're not. It's gonna be still being made during the hold. Okay. I'm just securing oh, these walls. Jesus. I'm reinforcing them with concrete. Say, man, I'm putting a lot so, of spikes down. Me, so be um, careful. Can you make me a lot of? Uh, actually, could George, can you make me a bunch of forged steel? Sure. Two hundred fifty. 250? Holy crap, yep. what's that for? The Jeep? Yep. <laughs> Maybe we can make some quick runs and go looking for some loot. I don't know. Oh, it's already 13. Never mind. No, we're not going to have time. We got to just focus on the base. Okay, I'm going to reinforce some of these houses. Like, there's holes in these I houses. I think, okay, the key for tonight is we're going to need to stay on the wall. That's going to be the biggest thing. Can't well, fall button, off the wall. Well, button did you say to press the repair there? Uh, A. If you have to hover over the item, or click on it even, and, and then press A. Did it work? Okay, yeah, I got it. Cobblestone. Oh, it's I'm, I'm collecting wood for you guys. Uh, just, just, I don't it's... know what else to do. <laughs> So what time does the uh, zombies start coming in? 22. 22. So they're almost here. We have forged iron laying around. Oh, we need more. Uh, I'm going to reinforce the door, this back door, because it needs it. Go for it, go for it. Okay, I passed up all the holes in this house. Okay. Ah, shoot. And that, never we'll mind. I to make all those, keep finding more all those holes. Big hatches. A vault door. What do we need? Twelve forged steel, two springs, and four mechanical parts. Okay, I'm gonna make one of those. Uh. Dude, do we have a spring and some mechanical parts laying around? Yeah, there's both of those. So, same man, with your axe, when you place down blocks, you can upgrade them as well if you right click. So, like, come over here, I'll show you. Okay. Wait, where'd you go? Yeah, come over here to this house. So, if you press tab, and you'll see a wooden frame block on the left that you can craft. Craft a Jordan, couple of those. Our... Jordan, can our own pipe bombs blow up our own wall? Yes. Okay, and after you craft a couple of them, you can. Select them on your hotbar and then put place them in these holes. Okay, so well, what do we need more of? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, put them in these holes. Right click. There you go. Okay, now if you pull out your axe and then right click on them, you can reinforce them. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna do some more uh, <clears throat> reinforcement of these walls. A little amount of cobble. I can't reinforce more than this. Yeah, cause the the next you can go is cobblestone, but I don't even have any right now. I'm just making it. 
Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, how are you making in the cobblestone? So you need stone and you need clay. So you have to dig up a bunch of stuff. Okay. Like you probably have a lot of stone. Well, maybe not. I but, don't think I do. But if you have a shovel and then you just we can go make you or see if you can make a shovel. So go to it should be on tools, tools and traps, and see if you can make a shovel. It should just be wood and 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 rocks. Yep. So if you make one of those, then come follow me. I'll show you where we've been digging. You can dig up a bunch of clay. Okay, so... Hmm. Oops. I think the key here... Okay, come here. Okay. I, I, I've already said it a couple times, but I think the key is going to be we just have to keep the zombies di divided so they're not all attacking the exact same part of the wall. So we've just so, been digging this mountain. Oh, so you just... Yeah, and you see where it adds it to your... On the bottom right. It also gives you XP as well. So when you collect XP, like you level up, you can also upgrade, like, your character, your, your stats. So Zay's, like, the mechanic. Jordan's been, like, the farmer. I've been upgrading, like, my loot stuff. But you can upgrade whatever. Where do I upgrade those stuff? So if you press B, or just tab, and then at the very top it shows a guy with a graduation cap. It says skills. Okay. Yeah, you can Boom. you can click you that and look through and see what you want to upgrade. Door. Oh my gosh. What is look that at thing? that beauty. Dang. We're going to upgrade it. I have zero points. <laughs> You'll level up really fast, dude, when, you, when we all start murdering zombies. Okay, this is the most advanced <laughs> protective door you can possibly craft. Are you just gonna dig down or are you gonna clear? You wanna just clear everything? Me? Oh no, we're just, I just dig when I need stuff. I don't care that it's there or not. Okay. Yeah, it's just, I, I dig when I need some, some clay. Concrete. Uh, okay, I'm putting some clay in the cement mixer in case anybody needs any. Okay. Okay, I need to get rid of these pine cones. Okay, I've got 20 more spikes I'm going to press. Is everybody in the base or... No, same man's still yet. out. Okay. Uh, uh, you come in? Oh, shoot. Taking spikes. Oh, you almost died. Why yeah, is it right in front of the door? Yeah, I don't know why that one's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I misclicked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. But it'll yeah. it'll be it'll, it'll be there anyway because the zombies will come. Yeah, so we really can't even be in here though. We gotta be like out. No, we gotta be out on the walls or on the ceiling. We cannot. Can we be put a ladder inside. up. Can we put ladders up on the wall or no? Yeah, if you want to put some ladders up on the inside, do it. That'll make it I'm easier to get up and down. The key, the, like I said, the key is to keep them divided. They're gonna try to target us. So if we get them to target us evenly across the wall. They won't get any particular part of the wall damaged enough to break through. Cause see, there it's it's basically their damage compounds depending on how many that how many attack the wall. So if the wall is uh, protected, or not protected, if the wall if the damage they're doing to the wall is divided, like along the length of the entire wall, they're not going to be able to get in as easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need... Hmm. Wait, do we have to reinforce the floors? No. We don't have to. But it's helpful. Yeah. I mean, we can keep on going, whatever. Gets you experience points. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's pretty much what we've been using it for. Plus, it's a lot easier to run on, so you don't get stuck in any holes. Yeah. I still can't uh, make cobblestone though. I don't know why. I guess I don't have the materials. Do you not have enough rocks? You need rocks and clay. I have clay and small stones. Yeah, that, yeah. you should be able to make it. I don't think I have enough because I only have 37 small stones and 135 clay. It's one to one. It should work. You Just... might have to unlock a skill or something. Oh Possibly yeah, like you guy might be too dumb. You got to upgrade your uh, your <laughs> intelligence. Thanks, guy. Ah, oh, crap. I think I might be. Same man, you should see if you can upgrade, make some boots. You don't have any boots on. Shoot. Okay, what the? 
Where did this guy come from? There's a zombie in okay. here. Okay. We're running out of time, fellas. Clock is ticking. Yeah. Make shoes. Shoes. Um, do we have a modded hat for same man to wear? Uh, we do have we do have a flashlight mod. I think it can go on a helmet. Uh, yeah, we do have a, a flashlight mod. We just need a helmet. To put it on. Okay. The mods in the far left chest. I think he can wear it. Like he's got a helmet on. Yeah, you can probably put it on his helmet then. Okay, did you get food, same man? You got food and drink? Oh uh, yeah, I got ten food and ten water. Okay, check your food bar right now and your drink bar and hey, just start pounding. Hey, Sky, do you have cobble? No, I don't have any more stones. Shoot. I have a lot of clay though. Okay, I have stones. I have stones. Can you make some cobble real quick and repair this piece? Yeah. So I, so I can concrete it up because we're gonna we're not gonna have time. Here, can I have the? Oh, are you yeah. outside? Yeah. yeah, I'm outside. I'll okay. take the stones. Uh, uh, right, there's some stones. I'm just trying to get some concrete set in place so that it's easy or we're more secured. There's so many pieces. These several these four pieces over here in this corner need to be repaired, and I don't have cobble to repair them. Ah, what, what Most ones? of these need to be repaired. What ones? Any of them that don't have any of the middle ones that don't have concrete on them right now need to be repaired. Oh, I see. I'm just doing the middle row because this is the first row they're gonna attack. So they need to be repaired so that I can. It's the other click, saying man. <laughs> I ignore it's that. The right click. <laughs> Here, can you get this one again, Sky? <laughs> what one? <laughs> this one. It's right here. There you go. Chipped it. Okay, we're good. Okay, if this... Hopefully this will be dry by the time they attack. Oh, this one too. These two over here. It's just because this is a particular weak spot. How long does it part. take for them to dry? Uh, Usually a couple in-game hours. So, like, two hopefully by the time the zombies attack, they'll be dry. Okay, uh, say, man, where do you want to hold up at? Um, wherever it doesn't matter. On top, probably. Okay, because you got a shotgun and a rifle, right? Yeah. Okay, um, just make sure you got enough ammo. It goes really fast. It goes faster than you think. Alright, there's a ladder right here. Just so you know. So if you're like running this way, you can just... Okay, I'm grabbing a bunch of ammo. If anybody wants any, let me know. Uh, I I'll So, I got a pistol, and I gave same man a hunting rifle and a shotgun. Okay, I've got pistol ammo. There's 150 shotgun shells in this chest. Somebody should grab those. There's also There's another double barrel too. Okay, same man, here's a med kit. I got a I got 150 rounds. Pick I mean, that up. We'll give everybody a med I've kit. Got, I've got twelve hundred pistol bullets and almost three hundred rifle rounds. But there's still more in those chests. Okay, let's just we're surviving this thing. Okay, I'm grabbing okay. more pistol. Rifle Who wants there. to be positioned where? I'm up on, I'm uh, left corner up there next to the garage. That's where I'm going. Okay, make sure you guys got repair kits for your guns. Oh, yep, I need repair kits. Okay, they're in the middle one. Here we go. The one on the right. I don't know what that is, but I'll grab one. Okay. Here, I'm gonna put. Um, I'm only gonna take that way. Okay, there's five in there. Okay, fellas, this is it. Yep, How do I this just is take gonna be one? intense. Uh, you have to pick it up, and then you have to right-click in your inventory, and it should put one down. Make sure you're you can you're able to move them around, though. But with that, everybody, you'll have to tune in next time to find out what happens on the Horde Night, the third Horde Night. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it rad.